In today's video, we're going to check in into a five-star luxury hotel in central Jakarta. And I think this is the most affordable five-star hotel I ever stayed at. I'm paying around 1.4 million Indonesian rupiah or a little bit less than 100 US dollar for the night, including the breakfast. So I am curious to see if the standard will be the same as in other five-star hotels, despite the relatively low price for such a luxury place. I will take you with me all along for the experience. Feel free to join me. Oh, they even have a dog here to uh, check for security. You see, there's a dog checking the car. Okay, terima okay. kasih. Thank you very much. Okay. Hello. Hello. Good sir. afternoon. Good afternoon. Is this yeah. Back? Yeah. Back here. One, two. Two. Okay. Terima kasih. Yes. Bye bye. Good. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Okay. All right. Let's check in. So we need to go to security first. I need to put my bag here. Yeah. This one as well. Okay. Oh, almost a uh, check-in like uh, like in an airport here. Oh, that is a uh, tough security for a hotel here. But I have to say the first impression here that looks quite impressive. I like it. Yes, I get the help. Oh, I can take it. No problem. Okay. Hello. Oh wow, this looks amazing here. Look at the stairs here. Oh, that looks very beautiful. Yeah. Oh, I like it. <laughs> okay, check in. Check in uh, over there. Thank you. Terima kasih. Oh wow, the first impressions here are really, really nice. This looks amazing. Hello, I would like to check in. Sure. May I have the reservation, please? Yeah, my name is Ken. Is it Ken? Passport. Today yeah. for one night. One Europe night, yes. is one thing size bed and is this non-smoking? Yeah, sure. I don't smoke. Actually, your original booking is supposed to be in Premier Deluxe Room. Yeah. But since our Premier Deluxe Room is already full, we have upgraded your room oh. in the one level above, which is uh, executive room. Great, we're starting with an upgrade. That sounds good. Yeah, we're yeah. staying in the 16th floor. This is a non-smoking room. Mm -hmm. The breakfast starting from 6 until 10 a.m. in Bogor Cafe. Yeah? Thank, you Thank, you Thank you very much. much. Okay. For the lift from here, you turn okay. right and turn right again. Turn right, turn right and right. Yes. Perfect, sounds Thank easy. So Thank you very much. Oh, can I get one of these? Yeah, sure. Oh, <laughs> I like this. Let's get a Mentos refreshment. Okay, terima kasih. Thank you. All right, that was a smooth and easy check-in process right here. Yeah, I really like the, the lobby here. The main entrance, you have this amazing looking little house or whatever this is supposed to represent. And this beautiful staircase here, that looks amazing. And then she said turn right and then right again for the elevator. Oh, have a look. We have a big garden area here and you can see the pool in the background. Oh wow, we're going to proper explore the area after we have checked in into the room. All right. Oh, I think we're also going to have a good view here. Oh yeah, down there is the big pool area. We have some of the skyline from Jakarta over here. Oh, I think I'm going to be at the end of the hall. 1653 is what I'm looking for. We have 1646. Five, four, five, three. Here we go. Oh, it's always exciting to see the room, especially if you're staying in such a hotel. The room is always a very exciting part for me. So, wow, okay. Oh no, we have music here. That is not good. Copyrighted music. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> yeah, if there's copyrighted music uh, playing in my video, then I risk to get demonetized on YouTube. But um, yeah, okay, let me make a room tour for you guys so you can see what the room here is like. What well, this is what you can get in Jakarta for less than 100 US dollar a night. Actually a quite spacious room and I really like the separated area over there with the little stairs. That is actually very unique, very beautiful. I really, really like this. Wow. And then there's a big proper desk here. So I can in theory get some work done today, but I think today is my holiday. I'm not planning to get some work. Let's check out the view here. Wow, this is pretty cool. I like the view. Pool view. You can see they have a big garden area here, which we are going to check out in a minute. And then we have a little bit of a skyline view over there on the right in the distance. This is actually pretty cool. Excited to see the view in the night later as well. And then can we open the windows? Uh, sometimes in fancy hotels especially, you can't open the windows, which I always don't like because I like to get fresh air in the morning. Um, okay, so this is a little bit uh, yeah, 
broken or something? For safety reasons, do not open the windows. Okay, yeah, same as in most other five-star hotels I stayed before. You can't open the windows, which is a little bit unfortunate. But other than that, wow, there's a nice couch area here. Yeah, I really like the design of this part being a little bit elevated from the rest of the room. That is very unique. I really like that. Wow. So this uh, the style of the room is a little bit yeah, older style. So I guess this is a, a bit of an older hotel, maybe with a lot of history, which is actually quite nice as well. You can also see here the safe is uh, probably a safe from, I don't know, the 80s or maybe the 90s, something like that. We do have a coffee and tea selection here. Wow, this is actually quite nice. Tropicana Slim Sweetener. Okay, so we have coffee and tea. We have a kettle here. We have water bottles too. We have a little fridge, which has nothing inside, unfortunately. Hmm, that would be nice now. Some refreshing drinks, maybe some chocolate bars, something like that. But nothing inside here. Then we have a little uh, yeah, place to store something. We have some, uh, yeah, some of these here. We have a light here, slippers. Okay, nothing too special. Then let's check out the bathroom, which actually, oh yeah, not that spacious to be honest, but uh, yeah, I'm just one person here using it, so that's all right. We have a nice walk-in shower, which I really like. We have a big shower head like this, and uh, yeah, I'm fitting underneath here, even though I'm one meter 90 tall, so absolutely no problem. We have towels up there. We have a spacious sink area, which I really like. I really love it when you can actually place all your things next to the, to the sink right here. So that is really nice. Two glasses, soap, some items right here, sanitary bag, probably a, or a comb, cotton buds. All right. And yeah, let's also test the bed. Oh, before we jump onto the bed, have a look at this. This looks very beautiful here. Wow, I really like this. And uh, it's not really stone. It looks like it's stone, right? But I don't think it's actual stone. But uh, nevertheless, this looks actually very unique, very beautiful. But yeah, let's jump onto the bed, make the bed test. If you are staying in a five-star hotel, you also want to have a really good sleep, right? So let's see if the bed is good. Ah, oh, to be honest, it's not as soft as I would have expected. Oh, it's actually pretty hard, to be honest. I know some people prefer hard beds. I prefer soft beds usually oh this is hmm, not that soft oh but i love the pillows the pillows are really nice wow i'm a huge fan of pillows usually i i like beds with like three or four pillows in it and these are actually very comfortable very nice i think oh yeah the pillows are a dream oh the last days in my i'm just coming back from bandung and the last days i had a hotel in bandung which was great a good hotel but the pillows were not really nice so i was missing some good pillows so let's make it look good again all right so overall i think i'm very happy with the room but yeah let's check out the area down there the pool area and maybe also get some uh, lunch there and yeah in case you're wondering the wi-fi speed is also very good here so i'm very happy with that and yeah i'm sure later today in the evening i'm going to watch some movies here yeah, i haven't done that in a while and did you know that if you are using sites like netflix for example or even also here on youtube that the type of content you see depends on the location where you are for example i can't watch highlights of the german football bundesliga when i am not in germany it's blocked outside of germany so in order to watch the highlights i need to virtually change my location back to germany and i am doing that with the help of Surfshark VPN. And I am sure by now most of you know what a VPN is. With a VPN you can virtually change the location of your phone or your laptop to basically anywhere in the world and that can be pretty helpful especially if you are traveling a lot. And this not only allows you to unblock geo-restricted content for example on YouTube or also on Netflix, it also protects your data. When you are connected to a VPN it encrypts the data that is sent between your phone or your laptop and the internet and therefore your personal information, your private data becomes safer. So if you are not using a VPN yet, I highly recommend to start using one. Personally, I am using Surfshark VPN for almost two years already now. I can highly recommend them. It is the only VPN to offer one account for unlimited devices. And right now you can get an exclusive Surfshark Black Friday deal. Just click the link in the description on the pinned comment. And if you enter the promo code CAN, you can get up to six additional months for free. That is a great offer. And they also have a 30 day money back guarantee. So you can test it out without any risk. Click the link down below and thanks to Surfshark for sponsoring today's video and now let's explore the hotel area. Thank you.
All right, before we have a look at the facilities and before we get some lunch at the pool area, I would like to show you something that is actually very nearby this hotel, just around the corner over there. And yeah, location-wise, I think this hotel is really, really nice. We are very central in Jakarta. The National Monument, the Monas, is just around the corner from here, like a short five, six minute walk. And so is the place that I would like to show you now. And yeah, check out what we are having here. A huge, beautiful looking cathedral, which actually reminds me a lot about cathedrals or churches we also have in Germany. It looks very similar. So I guess this church is actually coming from the Dutch when they were here. And yeah, Indonesia, in case you don't know, is the biggest Muslim country in the world in terms of population and in terms of land size. But still you can find beautiful looking cathedrals like this right in the center of Jakarta. And we not only have a cathedral here, just opposite the road, we have the biggest mosque in all of Southeast Asia right over there. And probably also one of the biggest ones in the whole world. And yeah, according to Google, 120,000 people are fitting inside here. Which actually sounds very incredible to me. I mean, that's double the size of a big stadium. Can you imagine 120,000 people fitting inside? I wonder if it's ever happened that 120,000 people were actually inside at the same time. In yeah. Germany you have the mosque? Yeah, we have mosque in Germany, yeah, yeah. Not the bridge like this? I don't think uh, we have big mosque like this. No, like most of the people in Germany are not, and, are and not Muslim. And popular in your country, no? No, most people are not uh, Muslim. Oh, okay. More like Christian people or many people know religion. We have more like this. The, yes. Churches, yeah. But in some big cities in Germany, yeah. you can also find mosques. I'm actually curious, maybe you can let me know in the comments, if you are Muslim, because I see many people here taking pictures in front of the mosque. If you are a Muslim and you visit another country, is it something popular to do to visit famous mosques in the country? So let's say you are coming from Malaysia and you are visiting Jakarta. Would you come here to visit this mosque? I'm curious to know, if you are a Muslim, let me know in the comments. But yeah, I just wanted to quickly show you this because it's uh, just a five minute walk away from the hotel, the church and the biggest mosque in Southeast Asia. But yeah, let's head back to the hotel, check out the area and get some food. Okay, and let's check out the garden area and the pool area. First impressions here, very peaceful, very calm. You don't really feel like you're in one of the biggest cities in Southeast Asia anymore. And we have this model of a big looking temple right here that actually looks very special. Wow, all these small little uh, houses right here, everyone with a Buddha inside. Interesting. So we've just seen a church, we've seen a mosque, and now we see some little Buddhas here as well. And wow, this looks beautiful, right? The walk here, a little hearth right here. Maybe a nice place to have a wedding as well. Some water fountains on the right side. And I think up there is actually a restaurant area or a bar area. And then we do have a big pool right here, surrounded by these nice looking coconut or palm trees. Wow, this is, I think, one of the biggest pools I have ever seen in a hotel. And also, I think, a very beautiful pool area here. I really like it. Plenty of spots available to sit down, to relax. Oh, I'm definitely going to jump into that pool right here. There's also a smaller pool over there, probably for children. And I see some people having a diving lesson here. Yeah, the pool is so big that people can actually dive in here. <laughs> I think I can get a tower here, but nobody here. Oh, oh no need to run, I have time. Yeah. <laughs> okay, name and room number? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, where can I order food or drinks? Ah, and can I can I eat at the tables over there? Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, so I order inside. Yeah. And then I can eat over there. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Terima kasih. All right. So I think actually that uh, the spot right here at the pool would be great to have lunch now. I'm very hungry, and I'm going to do a very German thing now. I'm going to reserve a seat with my towels. I think Germans are known for doing that. Mostly they do it quite early in the morning, 6 a.m. in the morning. They wake up go to the pool, reserve a spot with the towels, and then they have the seat for all day. <laughs> but I actually think I don't really need to do it here. Plenty of spots available. But yeah, let's see what we can get for, for lunch here. Actually, it's going to be late lunch. It's already 4.30. 
Ah, you have a menu here? Yes. This okay, one. let me see where I want to sit. Maybe here. This. Here? Yeah. So I guess this is a smaller menu compared to the menu that you have when you eat in the restaurant over there. So we don't have a lot of options here now, but I think more than enough for me right now. So we have some, uh, some snacks, appetizers, prawn salad, garden salad, fried crab cake. We have the classical burger or sandwiches, Philly cheese steak sandwich, nasi goreng, so also some local food, mi goreng. We have some traditional drinks, beer, pletok, which I think I've never tried before. Oh, there's even chili inside, interesting. Vadang jahe, jale jale. And you can also get beer here, which actually seems to be quite available all over Indonesia. I was actually a bit surprised by that, that you can get beer basically everywhere. I know it, for example, from Malaysia, that beer is not always available everywhere. So in case you do like to drink some beers, that's not going to be a problem in Indonesia. But yeah, you guys know me, I don't really drink often. Okay, let's actually go with... I would like to try a local drink right here. Maybe jale jale, ginger, yellow lemon honey and lemongrass that sounds good the price is here of course what do you expect in a five-star hotel right by the pool so you pay 78,000 for a drink here you pay around 100 120 130,000 for for a meal here nasi goreng for 128,000 which of course you can get on the street for I think 15 15 to 20,000 can I have the classical nasi goreng nasi goreng nasi yes. goreng and no spicy no spicy uh, Tidak pedas. Tidak pedas, yes. Tidak right? pedas. No Tidak spicy, please. No spicy. <laughs> and it's including chicken and prawn? Yes, that's good. Yeah. Of the yeah. Menu. Okay, sounds good. Yes. And then I would also like to try the jale jale. Jale jale, yes. It's a traditional Indonesian drink? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Okay, sounds good. And do you have a Sprite Zero? We just. Uh, just regular, regular Sprite? Regular okay, regular then one sprite. regular Sprite as well. Okay. With ice? Uh, with ice, please, yeah. Yes. yeah. The jale jale is it hot or cold drink? Uh, hot. Hot drink. Yes, okay, hot sounds drink. good. All right, so the drink has arrived already. Actually, uh, the color reminds me about a beer. Like also the glass could be uh, like a small little beer, but yeah, it's definitely not a beer. So we have a little uh, lemon on top. Maybe you can squeeze in a little bit of that. Okay. And then let's give it a try. Jali Jali. My first time trying this. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's really nice. It's very hot. Maybe a little bit too hot to drink, but I really like the flavor. You can definitely taste the lemon. I also taste the lemongrass a lot. And then there's a sweetness coming from, I think, from honey. Oh, this would be a very nice drink back at home during winter. You know, when it's cold in Germany, snowing outside, sitting around the Christmas tree, something like that. That will be a great drink for that. Not really that well fitting to uh, sitting by the pool while having, I don't know, 32, 33 degrees. But nevertheless, it's delicious. All right, nasi goreng for 128,000 rupiah. That's the most expensive nasi goreng I ever ate. <laughs> I hope it will be good. Oh, that looks very nice. Oh, wow. Check out the plate here. Yeah, right. Thank you very much. Terima kasi. Oh, what is this one here? This one? Satay? Satay. Chicken satay. Chicken satay. Chicken ah. Satay. So we have chicken here. This one is chicken as well? Yes. Chicken. And then we have prawn. Prawns. And this one is the prawn uh, cracker? Yes. Prawn crackers. Uh, udang. Udang, right? Udang. Yes. Udang. In Indonesia we say udang. Udang. Yes. Okay. Looks very good. Thank you very much. Yes, okay. Wow. That looks uh, really, really nice. Wow. And this one is, I think, coconut here. Shredded coconut. We have some vegetables on the side. Yeah, we have the chicken satay chicken here, prawn, a fried egg, fried rice and the cracker. Wow, that looks very good, doesn't it? And then yeah, with this view in front of me, the pool, coconut trees, very nice. Okay, wow, to be honest, I wasn't expecting such a big plate here now. I'm not sure what I was expecting, but this is way bigger than I was expecting, to be honest. So yeah, you do pay a high price here, but it seems like you also get a lot. If you're from Indonesia, let me know in the comments if the sizes that you get as a street food are comparable actually to this one and how much you usually pay for nasi goreng in a local restaurant or on the streets. Well, I don't even know where to start now. Maybe let's start with the cracker here. A crispy little cracker. Oh yeah. I had this cracker before with other meals and often these crackers are very dry. 
but this one is not dry at all really nice very crispy very crunchy very nice but yeah let me put this on the side so we can actually see the rest of the food better so the fried egg the rice satay so i also guess usually you eat this meal with your hands but uh, i feel like this is not i don't know it feels wrong to eat with the hands here now you know sitting in a five-star hotel so let me actually use fork and spoon here oh i remember i had these uh, shredded coconuts before and they were very delicious so let me actually mix it up with the rice a little bit and then the egg let's try the rice first mm. oh it's so flavorful wow very very delicious is it right is this the national dish of indonesia can you call nasi goreng the national dish oh i think the vegetables are pickled vegetables they have this typical pickled flavor to it you know and i'm getting a visitor here there's a cat coming hello <laughs> would you like some food mm. let's see maybe i have a piece of chicken for you here we go you can have a piece of chicken here we go <laughs> enjoy oh she even tried the chicken before i tried it let's change that let's try it as well Oh my god, I don't know what they put around it, but it's so flavorful, I can't even identify the flavors. Also, the meat is very soft and tender. Oh, this is delicious. Mm. Yeah, we have this piece of fried chicken here. Oh, you can peel off the skin here, crispy skin. There's so much meat on this piece here. Oh, I love it. This chicken is even better than the satay chicken. And then we actually do have quite a large prawn. Check out the prawn here. That is quite a big one, almost like a tiger prawn. And then yeah, that's always the case when you eat prawns, it looks so big. And then in the end, the actual meat piece is way smaller. Mm, but also, oh, very delicious. I really like prawns. To be honest, I don't really eat prawns often, but every time I do, oh, this is delicious. It's not an ocean flavor, not a seafood typical flavor to it, which I think is a good sign. I think that means they are fresh. I'm not an expert with seafood, but I think the less you taste the ocean, the, the fresher the prawns are. But yeah, I want to try some more of the shredded coconut here with the rice because it is so flavorful. And yeah, I guess typical, uh, this meal is spicy. Usually, that's my guess. People here like to add chilies, eat it with a spicy kick, but I can't really handle spicy food that well. So maybe I'm missing out some original flavors here now. But nevertheless, this is very delicious. Wow, the pool is deeper than two meters, two meter 20 which is way deeper than the pools usually are in hotels. So this is actually a very nice pool for swimming as well. And I really love it. Whenever I have hotels with a big pool, I really like to go swimming, especially in the morning. And yeah, I would also like to mention something very quickly because today is actually my last day in Indonesia. I stayed here for almost two months now, way longer than initially planned because I really enjoyed my time here. And yeah, I just wanted to say thank you for all the support throughout the series. The support has been amazing, not only here on YouTube, also on TikTok and on Facebook where I'm uploading videos every single day at the moment. So thanks for all your support, for all the nice comments in the comment section. Yeah, the Indonesian people really welcomed me everywhere with great hospitality. That was really nice. I think the Indonesian people are one of the friendliest people I have ever came across on all my travels. So I am already sure that I will be back for another series here in Indonesia probably next year. All right, and yeah, as you can see, it looks really beautiful here now with all the lights on. It is now 6.30. So yeah, the lights are turned on. Also, the pool has some lights inside here. Looks very beautiful. I really enjoy the atmosphere here. And yeah, let's also have a walk through the garden area again with all the lights turned on now. Very nice atmosphere. Yeah, this is the back side of the hotel building with uh, some lights turned on already now. Nice for the last evening in Indonesia, isn't it? Okay, and have a look at the atmosphere here in the room now. Looks actually very cozy. I really like it. And also let's check out the view in the dark, the night view. Also pretty cool. The pool down there still nicely lit up with all the lights. And then we have a little bit of a view to the skyline. And yeah, I forgot to mention, by the way, that if you want to still see more of me in Indonesia, I have a second YouTube channel called Canabroad Clips, where I will be still posting daily videos despite leaving Indonesia tomorrow. And yeah, I am actually a little bit hungry again. It is now a little bit after 8 p.m. And down there is a bakery slash cake shop. And I spoke with them earlier and they told me that after 8 p.m. they are selling everything with a 30% discount. And yeah, now I'm getting hungry again, so this is a nice opportunity. Let's check out the cake shop, see what we can get. And here it is, the bakery shop. So let's see what is left. Hello. Hello. So now everything is 30% discounted? Yes. Yeah. 
Okay, and let's see what I can get. So we have different types of cakes here. Are you selling it by piece? Uh, no, this is for the whole cake. Ah, I have to buy the whole cake. Ah, okay, then I'm not gonna have a cake tonight because I don't want to finish the whole one. But we have some, oh, quiche, Australian meat pie. That sounds delicious, actually. And then we have some pieces left here, sausage bread and beef rendang bread. Can I get one of the sausage breads? Uh, Satu? Yeah. Can I get the rendang one as well? Yeah. So I'm getting the two items now for 51,000. Usually the price is 30% more, right? Yes. Okay, because it's after 8 p.m. Everything here is discounted. Okay, yeah, because I had uh, the nasi goreng already quite late, it was, I think, almost 5 p.m. I'm not that hungry. So, uh, yeah, a little sausage bread and the beef rendang bread right here. Actually, I want to try that one first. Let's see how good it is. Okay, obviously, they're not tasting that fresh anymore. I mean, it's 8 p.m. That's why they're selling them with a discount. And actually, it's pretty dry, to be honest. Let's see if this one is better. Mm, yeah, a little bit better, but nothing too special, I would say. But that is all right. I'm not that hungry anyway. And yeah, I will enjoy the rest of the evening now, my last evening in Indonesia. And then I will see you again tomorrow morning. And good morning, it is the next morning now and yeah, I just had breakfast. I will tell you about the breakfast and my final review of the night of the stay here. And yeah, first of all, the breakfast has been really amazing. They have a huge breakfast buffet, Asian food, Western food, pastries, fresh fruits. There was even someone cutting the fruits fresh for you. I think I've never seen that before in a hotel. And they even had roasted chicken here for breakfast. That was really amazing. So I really enjoyed the breakfast. And yeah, how was my night here? I had an awesome sleep here. The bed was a little bit hard. I prefer softer beds, but nevertheless, my sleep has been great here. The pillows were amazing. The room was very quiet, no noises at all here. But yeah, one thing that is a little bit unfortunate is that I have to check out at 11 o'clock already. But uh, yeah, overall, I would say for a little bit less than 100 US dollar, right in the center of Jakarta, this has been an amazing hotel experience. And by the way, this is not a sponsored hotel stay. I'm a regular paying guest here, so I'm not afraid to uh, tell you my honest opinion. But yeah, if you're interested in this hotel as well, I will leave a link to the hotel in the description. And yeah, this is also now the end of my Indonesian series. I'm going to head to the airport actually right after I check out. I have a flight in the afternoon today and then I have a very very interesting and exciting country coming up next so stay tuned for that. And if you haven't seen my previous video where I was still in Bandung where I did a $100 market challenge on a local market there then check out the video right here. Stay healthy, stay positive and then see you on the next episode. Ciao guys!